everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Alone in the Dark. I'm the Black Shadow and now you see why I used a different video filter for the opening video of the LP. Alone in the Dark. Everything makes itself apparent eventually. Last time we finished the game. Uh, sort of. Well, we did. Uh, we, uh, Finished the game uh, with uh, Mr. Edward Carnby, uh, which was, you know, a lot of fun, enjoyed it. Of course that's only half the game, bear in mind, there is of course a, uh, an entirely different playthrough available, um, uh, using uh, Aline, basically. I'm thinking a bit like, you know, the old Resident Evils, you know, like of a, a gay, an A game and a B game, think of it a bit like that, you know, while Carnby's been around, you know, causing all sorts of carnage. Uh, in the manor house. Where on earth was Aline this whole time? And, uh, you know, what did she get up to? Well, shall we find out? I'm gonna... Gloucester, Massachusetts. Much as I love that scene, uh, that scene, I'm gonna skip it. We've seen it before. So we will not be doing this as Carby, but instead, Miss Aline Cedric. In the dark. Now, bear in mind, of course, that uh, when the uh, pair jumped off of the uh, out of the plane, while Carby landed in the woods, Aline here landed straight on the man of rooftops, which is good, I guess. So uh, yeah, so she—that's where the remnants of her uh, thing is, uh, parachute. So, well, we don't at least have to worry about um, traveling to the man. We're already here. Super. Cornby, is that you? Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Come and get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen, turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. You'll notice that the dialogue is actually quite different. Okay, worked fine. I can see you. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. Great. More or less, we're on our own. Which should be interesting considering that, uh... Aline's playthrough is very different to, uh, what Carnby's was. So, I suppose we might as well head inside. This look familiar, folks. It should do. Who are you? I do not recognize the sound of your steps. Please help me. I've had an accident. You should never have come here, young lady. This is not a place for you or anyone else. Why? What's going on here? My son, Obed, is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? The creatures of darkness. You must help him. You must take Obed with you before it's too late. Wait, what creatures? The creatures of darkness? What is... You see, young lady, here on Shadow Island, the shadows are alive. <laughs> They come and lick your face like hellfire. Nice. The shadows are cold and sharp and like razor blades. The shadows stalk you. They feed off your breath and your heat, but mainly off of your fear. Light dispels the shadows, but light also reveals the shadows. Obed will explain this better than I can. Where is he? How would I know? <laughs> I haven't seen him for three days now. The last you haven't been able to see anything for three days. He trusted me with this key. Mine. A statue in the smoke. 
smoking room. Take it. <laughs> Listen. Take a smoke, you the key. Well, cheers, lady. I don't hear anything. That hush! Howard? Howard? Is that you? Howard? Oh, what in heaven's name are you doing? Who's Howard? It's my husband, of course. Obed's father. Howard? Young lady, please go have a look in the corridor. There might be a problem. Howard? Is that you? Yes, folks. She's a few prawns short of a galaxy, it must be said. Now, you are able... Make sure to go back. There's a few items you'll want to grab hold of here. The first aid here, for example. Um, you'll have to remember, uh, folks, that, of course, when you first go to play this game, you can play either um, Carnby's or Lean's first. I would strongly advise, if you've never played this game before, to do Carnby's, because it helps to have kind of a, a rough idea of how the, the game mechanics and system tends to work before doing a leans. The main reason for this is we kind of don't have a gun. Yeah, about that. We, um, yeah. So uh, we also start off hurt, so we need a first aid to patch ourselves up here. But yeah, we don't have a weapon to start with, folks. This is a problem. We are going to be relying on our flashlight to get us out of trouble. Um, seeing as the flashlight can be used to deter some of the uh, creatures of darkness. Speaking of creatures of darkness. Hello there, sir. How do you do there today? You notice here how he actually is actually taking a degree of damage from the light here. You notice he's, he's not appreciating it, and eventually they will be dispelled. We are going to have to make good use of our flashlight, folks, believe me. There's all sorts of sounds going on out there. I don't think there's anything else in here. I could be wrong. But yeah, so while Carby starts with his double barrel, we have nothing. This should be interesting. Love the music out here, though. Love this music. So, we need to make, remember, what we can from the uh, initial run of this game to help us where we can. And apparently, Howard is around somewhere, so we will have to uh, see what we can't find. Hello? Yes, yeah, so remember, these guys will not appreciate having the light shot on them. Get the light! Yes. Should help dispel some of them. It's locked, of course. Have to find the key. One of my favourite tracks of the game is I love it a bit. Right, so I've got to know where the hell I'm going now. Now this door's open. Remember back in the original playthrough, that get through that door was sealed. Oh shit! Run! Hell! So you remember that rooms that the doors that are formerly sealed are now open and available. So you've got to always start the game again, folks. But it's a very dangerous point where we have no way of defending ourselves properly here. We don't want to hang around. Carnby, this is no island. This is a nightmare. She did that herself. What have you dragged me into? First of all, I never dragged you into anything. Secondly, I told you to remain put. And third, I don't have any idea either. <laughs> Where is all this coming from? Did we step into the twilight zone or what? I'm telling you, I have no idea. Anyhow, if you hear someone calling for help, beware. I don't understand. You'll understand way too soon. What's that supposed to mean? Damn it, Colby! Anyways, you want to head around this corner, folks, because we got some shotgun shells, which is nice. Although I could really dig having the shotgun at this point. But never mind. Also, this 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 doesn't open in uh, Elite's playthrough. We don't need to because the doors are open instead, rather than them being sealed. Let's bear that in mind. Right, so let's head back outside. That's interesting. 
Right, what we need to try and do is get across the hallway. Ready? Run! Oh, run, man! Or woman, or whoever you are. Whatever you are. Ooh, charm of saving. Give me that. Oh, shit. Ow! Ow! Stop doing that! Oh, shit. That's right, yes! Stun them away. Make a run. All sorts of sounds going on, folks. God! What the hell is going on here? Love this game so much. Whoa! Hello! Where did you come from, sir? As I get out of a small game and keep running away! Magnesium bullets! Very nice. So we're getting ourselves a bit of ammo, it's just we kind of need something to use it all with. This is the problem. Right. Let's quickly assess what we've got. So we've got... Okay. Check our guild of keys that we got. Second floor east. And this roll key that Lucy gave me. We have no idea what it's for, though. Now, I've got to quickly throw out here as well. It was mentioned how when we were up here the last time. Um, music? Oh, the music stopped. Okay. Um, the, 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 how uh, with the keys, about how they're... Um, yeah. This game is not very good in the offense that, unfortunately... Remember how we... I was confused how the small rusty key opened the door that was over here. This game kind of manages to mix up both the US and UK systems of, uh, of, uh, floor labelling. You see, in, um, in the, in the UK, uh, over here, um, we kind of have, we, our system is that the, um, you know, if you were to walk into, like, someone's house, that floor is the ground floor, whereas for, in the US, that's the first floor. However, then if you go up the stairs, you then... For us, then that would be the first floor, whereas for you guys, it'd be the second. Well, you guys, I'm saying, like, I know the US are a lot of people that I watch the videos. So, um, unfortunately, this game managed to mix up both of these systems into one. Basically, don't trust anything. Second floor could mean, you know, anything, really. So, yeah. Right. Now, does this open this? No. Does this open this? No. Second floor east. Wouldn't be the staircase over there by any chance, would it? Might well be. Let's head on over then. Try my theory. Also try not to die. Here we go in. I don't think this is a thing in Aline's playthrough here either. Though, so I don't think it is. It has been many a... Oh, God. It has been a long time since I last did uh, Aline's playthrough. Though, so I couldn't tell you. A very long time. Is it down here? We didn't check down here. Look, look. Great tain spoil guns. Well, that's not going to be after. No... No, no, nothing much down here, but I think okay. Right, so I'm assuming that the thing goes to there, although I'm really curious to go back to Lucy and see if she had anything more to say. We had a look around, couldn't find anyone or anything. Yep, I thought that was the one over there. Let's quickly go and have a chat with um, Lucy, shall we? Tell her that we, we haven't found much. I think there's a, another cutscene we can have of her. No? Oh. Well, I, I honestly thought there was a second cutscene I could have of her. I was apparently wrong. I apologise for wasting your time. 
Where did I get that fort from? Eh, whatever. Anyways. This music is so cool. I could literally just... When I'm done with this game, I swear there are several tracks of this game. I'm just going to record so I can get it on my PC. The music sucks. Gotta do that. Anyways. So here we are on the staircase, which was not a lot of use for us back in Carby's playthrough. Maybe of more uh, use to us in Leafers. Just again, never too sure this game's gonna throw Did you. Did you hear something? What the? Who was that? I want you to answer me. I swear, I heard something. Quit stalling. Did you talk about our research to this Mr. Lamb, yes or no? Well, how do you think I was able to find all those guinea pigs that? for you? That's your problem. Oh, no. It's not my problem. It's our problem. Listen carefully, Obed. I've been putting up with your whining and your cowardice for years, but it's over now. You've known my goals from the beginning, and nobody, especially not me, forced you into following me. So if I were to find out that you betrayed me, you know me, and you know I would not hesitate for a second. Oh, yes. I know you. I know you are completely mad. It's you! I it's you who... Yes, it's me. And so what? Never cross me again. Ever. You stick to your narcotic stupor and let me fulfill our destiny. Carnby, I just overheard a discussion that might be of interest to us. Two men, one of whom was Obed, were arguing about someone called Lamb. Does that name ring a bell? First of all, it confirms that Obed Morton is on the island. Secondly, we know he's alive. And third, I've already heard that name, or read it, but for the time being, I can't remember where or when. Well, I'm impressed by your powers of analysis. Is that how one becomes a private detective? <laughs> Keep your sarcasm on ice. You can dish it out once we've made it out of here. Anyhow, I'm warning you. If anything happens to Obed Morton, I will... Stop, please. You've got me all scared. <laughs> God's sakes. Yeah, of course, he's referring to the fact that uh, Lamb's name was in uh, Fisk's uh, notebook, which, of course, you can read in his story. We, um, we, we don't have that. We do have a few things though. We've got uh, we've got our, our old map. Um, I should have looked for these earlier. Actually, we've got the map from from earlier. But she's got a few unique items to her. We've got, for example, a letter from Johnson sent to me for my departure. Let's go ahead, shall we? Dear Miss Sedrak, as I explained to you during our conversation. My client trusted to Professor Obed Morton the translation of three Abcanis tablets, a photograph of which you will find enclosed. These are the only documents that we have in our possession, and unfortunately, as you will notice, they are illegible. We would in no way like to imply a doubt concerning the capacities of Professor Morton, but prefer to call upon your services as a guarantee, as it were. Your most recent communique has convinced my client that you are a most suitable candidate for this mission. We would therefore like to invite you to travel to Shadow Island to work with Professor Morton. Furthermore, I enclose the photograph of Obed Morton that I showed you and in which you thought you recognised your mother. I carried out the research that you requested. Uh, your observation does you credit. It transpires that the young lady who seems so close to Obed Morton is effectively Marie Sedrak. Isn't life full of happy coincidences? As we agreed, your total remuneration will be 10,000 US dollars. 5,000 enclosed, 5,000 upon delivery of the translations. Try using that to get you out of this sticky situation. Your departure will be arranged for a date around October 31st. A seaplane will transport you to the island. Mr. Edward Carnby, a private detective that I have employed for your protection, will accompany you. I remain at your disposition. Yours sincerely, Frederick Johnson. Well, you know, ladies gotta get paid. Ah, uh, we know about that. 
We've got a couple of, po of pictures as well. We've got a, a Polaroid showing the free Ancient of Canis tablets, which are the ones that uh, we've been sent to uh, to get hold of. Yeah, not a not a lot of use, really. But, you know, at least we know what we're looking for. And we've got a black and white photograph a bla of Obed Morton and Marie Sedrak, apparently. Interesting. Well, that's that's all the good. Check the notebook. Quickly. Yes, can't be. Must must find Obed before he does. Yeah. Rendezvous in the manor. We met Obed Warden's mother. She's paralyzed and half blind. Um, eavesdrop conversation. Guinea pigs. Yeah, not good. Right. I think that's pretty much everything to do here. Now, as much as I didn't remember much of Kami's playing through, I remember even less of Aline's. I'm not even sure I've ever beaten Aline's playthrough of this game. I don't. I'm not sure I have. So this could be interesting. Damn. Well, you know, we'll try. Head on down. Here then, I suppose the only thing we can do is head to the first floor. Ooh, hello. There we go. Isn't that better? One thing we must do though, as soon as we can. Whoa, that was a bit glitchy. We kind of need to find a gun as soon as we can. Well, isn't it nice to be in here and not be immediately assaulted by millions of zombies? This, of course, is the library, which I assumed we wouldn't be able to enter. But we got a choice. Let's go this way. Oh, we're here. Huh. Huh. Okay. I'm so used to certain doors being sealed now that I don't, I can't trust anything in this game anymore. Okay then, well, let's see what we got up looking around. Ooh, that's an interesting, uh... Oh, hello! Free first aid kits, I didn't know you were there. So we've got the, the old um, owl statue with the wolf thing, where we'll have to uh, make some use of that. I don't think that's what we need the key for. Oh, and a hunch. I have a funny feeling to do with this. Because we couldn't interact with this back in uh, uh, Kami's playthrough. An Indian style stone. That. So I bet if I turn the light off. Yeah, hello. Whoa, what's that sound? I heard that. I heard nasty things. Light goes straight back on to dispel those. spawn today? Yeah. A primitive Indian statue. The circle the, is, is phosphorescent and seems to have a weapon inside. Huh. And inside is a revolver. Whoa, hello. Back. Run, woman. Ow, run. Keep running. Run a bit more. Light on. Oh, shit, that doesn't piss that bastard off, does it? He doesn't mind the light so much. We have got a gun. A steel revolver with black handle. It's, uh... Not as powerful or effective as um, Kambi's double revolver, but hey, it's a start. Bear in mind also, it does fire traditionally as in one bullet at a time. Oh, it does open, okay. Who the? But Professor Morton. Is that Obed? Professor? Professor? As she just stands there the whole bloody time. 
That could have been Obed. Door's locked. I suppose onwards we march. To chase him down. Find out where the hell he went. I hear footsteps. Clearly he doesn't want to talk. Oh, this goes back into here. Which is locked. Uh, probably unlocked from the other side, no doubt. That's the library. Which of course we can't open yet either. That should help a bit. What in the hell was that? Check down here quickly and make sure there's nothing item wise hiding down here like there was last time. No, not really. <sighs> I guess we're heading in here. Oh, I should have, um. Carnby? I should have done that in the first area. Sorry, folks, never mind. Hello? Anyone home? Anyone at all? Gone in there. Let's check round the corner first. Oh! What are you doing here? Wait a minute. I came to talk to you. That's I... not. To talk to me? Young lady, one doesn't come to Shadow Island to talk. What? Talking is useless here. Did he just. He just... Oh. One doesn't... What? Daddy? I guess. Carnby? Carnby, answer me. Aveline, I thought you were dead. I thought so too. I'm not cut out for a place like this. I want all this to stop right now. I understand that. You understand? You understand? You don't understand a thing. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want with me. But all I want is for this nightmare to end right now. Look, get a grip on yourself. Yeah. Where are you? In some room. Obed Morton drugged me and then locked me in here. And I tried to help him. Sounds like your wonderful professor might not be so wonderful after all. <laughs> Don't move, I'm coming. Is that the best you can do? Yes, I am doing my best. Well, okay. Hurry up. Damn, Aline, you are giving Carby one hard time. Damn it, lady. Well, it seems that uh, Professor Morden, yeah, he, he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to talk. Let's see what we've got around then. We've got this here, just like last time. We've got, uh, what have we got here? Ah, yes, we've got um, Alan's diary, which we have uh, read previously. So, yeah, I'm not going to go through that again. I find as much as I enjoyed running through these uh, and you know saving them all. Got a charm of saving in there. We've got first aid and an Allen wrench, also known as an Allen key, but in any event, and a first aid spray. First aid spray. Man, I'm glad this video is about to end. Large steel Allen key. Very good. Is that what you guys know it as in over your side? Allen wrench? I've known it as an Allen key. That's just me. Right. That's sealed up. And this door is locked. Aline? 
That was me, by the way. I'll take a look in the bedroom while I'm waiting for you. I'm sure I heard something, but... Aline, don't do anything stupid. Hey, you're not talking to a kid. And there's this mirror. A bit more reflection all round wouldn't hurt. Huh? Nothing. This is one strange, uh... I don't even know the right word for dichotomy. I don't even know. Anyways, we want the mirror. Which we, of course, know opens from the last time. A little bit more important to head down here during Aline's playthrough. As it turns out. Come down here. Because... Here's our triple-barreled shotgun. This is where we find it in a lean run. Now that we've got pair of both of these, I'm feeling a bit better with life. So we'll move on down here. Let's see what else is hiding along. We got our first Eve. And, of course, the door that we couldn't open. Liam? Is that you? Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You have no idea what is going on here. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. You're a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Lamb? Lamb! Is this what we heard on the tape recorder? That certainly looks like no. our old bed. No, don't do it. Let me explain. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. That must be Alan. Mm. Problems, folks. Problems. Alright, well, there's nothing more we can do here. Hmm. Hmm. That's, um... That wasn't a good sound. Um, yeah, about that. Oh, hello. Finally. Now you are going to tell me what's going on. I still don't know. Here, I got your stuff. Thanks. I never should have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not sure anymore. I have this feeling there's more than one Obed Morton. It's too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you, somewhere you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You and I both know the safest place is two hours away by plane. I haven't managed too bad up to now, and I'm not planning on just sitting around doing nothing with the little time I have left to live. I want to know. Just before, I heard a voice up above. You did? There's a trap door. With your help, I can reach it. I didn't hear it. Why not stick together, the two of us? We both don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane? Come on, give me a hand. And if I say no? That's not your style. Well, thank you, Kambe. For giving me the leg up. And we are... Here. Okay. Who the... Holy shit. Who'd have ever believed my fate could be in the hands of a woman? You found out how to speak to the mirrors. I know what you are seeking, and I can help you find it. 
We all need to know where we come from. We all need to know where the blood racing through our veins comes from. So I, Judas DeSerto, I shall strike a deal. Remember with the name? Edenshaw. The old witch doctor stole my mirror. Should you bring it back to me, I shall raise the veil that hides your past from you. I know I can trust you. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, Judas DeSoto, everyone. Remember the name from uh, back in Carmi's playthrough? Remember we, we, we read about the letter from uh, DeSerto and his name came up a fair bit. We just met him in a mirror. Hmm. But anyways, that's where we're going to be certainly ending this uh, this video. Of, uh, let's play Alone in the Dark. Anything new here? Prisoner! Obed has put me to sleep. Can't be, yeah. I went got knocked out in front of a person, yeah. I saw a mirror, the face of a man that calls himself Deserto. He asked me to get him back his mirror. And of course, he mentioned Edenshaw. Anything for, from Carnby? No. Carnby? No? Okay then. Well then, next time! In uh, Let's Play Alone in the Dark. Do we take up Deserto when we're on his offer? Do we have a choice? I'll see you next time.